Bună ziua! Bine ați venit la o oră de limba engleză pentru liceu. Astăzi vom discuta despre condiționala 1. First conditional. Apăsăm întâi clopoțelul de abonați și după aceea vă rog să faceți o captură de ecran la cele două pagini pe care le vom lucra astăzi. Acestea sunt. Conditionals and Wishes There are three types of conditionals. Each type consists of two parts. The if clause, hypothesis, which begins with the word if, and the main clause, which shows the result of the hypothesis. <coughs> if clause, main clause, If close, hypothesis, main close, result. <coughs> If you are late, you will miss the bus. In the if close, we use present simple tense. And in the main close, we use the future tense. When the if clause comes before the main clause, they are separated with a comma. When the main clause comes before the if clause, then they are not separated with a comma. Example. If Peter has time, comma, he will come to visit us. Peter will come to visit us if he has time. Type 1 Conditionals If Robert studies hard, he will pass his exams. Water turns into ice if the temperature falls below zero. For general facts, we use Uh, present tense also in the main sentence. If you don't understand, look at the example. <clears throat> If you go to New York, you can see the Statue of Liberty. So, when uh, we have an imperative verb, It has the same form as the short infinitive. And when we have in the main sentence a model verb, it can be used at present simple too. <coughs> I am drinking hot tea because of my throat. Excuse me. Type 1 conditionals express a real or very probably situation in the present or future. They are formed as follows. If close, if plus present simple. Main close, future simple, present simple, imperative, can, must, may, etc. plus bear infinitive. Bear infinitive is the short infinitive. Infinitive without to. Okay, we can use unless instead of if, not, in the if clause. The verb is always in the affirmative after unless. Example, if you don't hurry, we'll be late for school. Unless you hurry, we'll be late for school. Exercise number one. Look at the pictures and the prompts and make sentences as in the example. If you go to London, you can see Big Ben. If you go to Rome, you will see or you can see the Colosseum. 
If you go to New York, you can see the Empire State Building. <clears throat> if you go to Egypt, you can see pyramids, the pyramids. If you go to Sydney, you can see the Sydney Opera House. If you go to Paris, you can see the Eiffel Tower. If you go to Venice, you can see some gondolas. <coughs> if you go to Hawaii, you can see some palm trees. Exercise 2. Match column A with column B in order to make correct type 1 conditional sentences as in the example. If you are tired, go to bed. If you are hungry, make a sandwich. Number two matches with letter A. <clears throat> Number three, if you are bored, read a good book. Number three matches to letter D. Number four, if you are thirsty, uh, get something to drink. Number four matches to letter B. If you are seasick, take one of these pills. Number five matches with letter D. Exercise three, fill in unless or if. Number one, we won't go on holiday unless you can take your dog with us. So, we won't go on holiday unless we can take our dog with us. You notice that can is an affirmative form because we have unless before it. Number two. If we don't buy it now, we'll have to get it later. Number three. If you go to bed late, you'll be tired in the morning. Number four. I can't finish my homework unless you help me. Number five. We'll have a picnic on Saturday unless the weather is bad. <clears throat> Number six. You'll catch a cold unless you wear your coat. Number seven, I'll open the window if I get too hot. Exercise number four, put the verbs in brackets into the correct tense. Add a comma where necessary. If you have a toothache, go to the dentist. Number two, if Peter does lots of exercise, He'll be fit and healthy. Number three. Please call me if you need any help. Number four. Will Sarah be angry if we don't go to her party? Number five. Kathy will be able to go on holiday if she saves enough money. Number six. Unless it rains, we'll go for a walk. <clears throat> Number seven. If you work hard, you may be promoted. Number eight. Will you give me a call if you have time tomorrow? Number nine. If you don't do your homework, I won't let you watch TV. Number ten. Mary won't go to Australia unless I pay for her tickets. Number 11. If he arrives on time, we'll have dinner before we go out. Exercise number 5. Put the verbs in brackets into the correct tense. Number one, <clears throat> I'd like a cup of coffee. Well, 
If you hold the baby for five minutes, I will make it for you. Number two. <coughs> I must go to the bank. If you leave now, you will get there before it closes. Number three. I can't do everything myself. Well, if you wash the dishes, I will cook the meal. Number four. Are you going on holiday this year? Yes, I will go to Spain for two weeks if I have some time off work. <coughs> Number five, I want to cook something special tonight. Great, if I finish her work early, I will give you a hand. Number six, could I have a chocolate biscuit, please? Yes, if you look in the cupboard, you will find some cakes as well. Exercise number six. Rewrite the sentences as in the examples. Number one. If Harry doesn't phone, we'll live without him. Unless Harry phones, we'll live without him. Number two. Unless Sheila returns the money she owes me, I won't be able to pay my rent. If Sheila doesn't return the money she owes me, I won't be able to pay my rent. Number three. Sarah will be disappointed if you don't send her a birthday card. Sarah will be disappointed unless you send her a birthday card. Number four. <coughs> Maria won't go to the theater if Peter doesn't go with her. Maria won't go to the theater unless Peter goes to her, goes with her. So I repeat it, Maria won't go to the theater unless Peter goes with her. Number five, if you don't pay the electricity bill, it will be cut off. Unless you pay the electricity bill, it will be cut off. Number six, unless Kate comes home soon, her parents will call the police. If Kate doesn't come home soon, her parents will call the police. Number seven, if the children don't behave themselves, they won't go to the zoo. Unless the children behave themselves, they won't go to the zoo. Number eight, Unless my mother offers to help me, I won't have time to make all the preparations. If my mother doesn't offer to help me, I won't have time to make all the preparations. Number nine. Unless you tidy your room, I won't take you to the party. If you don't tidy your room, I won't take you to the party. Number 10. If Dennis doesn't write soon, I will be very upset. Unless Dennis writes soon, I will be very upset. Vă mulțumesc pentru participarea la acest curs. Dacă v-a plăcut, lăsați un like. Nu uitați să vă abonați. Și mai ales, țineți minte că pe acest canal găsiți lecții de limba română și de limba engleză. La revedere!